Zane's here. What we got? Just give us a recap of practice, good. Coach. Today was good. Today was a good day. Uh, not perfect, but I thought that for a Tuesday, you know, with the big day classes yesterday, I thought our guys were pretty good. So I saw a lot of smiles, a lot of guys bouncing around, a lot of good energy. Um, got to clean a lot of things up tomorrow, but we're good. Coach, a unique, uh, a bit of a unique situation going into this game. Uh, heard you had a chance to get some tips. Uh, on your I didn't really get much from my cousin other than, you know, he just talked a little bit about personnel. That's a little overrated. I mean, it's a few things he talked about. But, you know, we played Rice last year, and they've got the same two coordinators. So, you know, it was just a few things about personnel and what he thought. But having, having the two of them having played so recently, I mean, that's a unique situation. I mean, you can't just call up another head coach. No, but we do. There's a lot of times you'll call guys if you're friends with them. You'll call them and say, hey, what would you think of them? And did you pick up anything? That goes on throughout the year with different teams. I'm sure who we played, if David Bailiff and his staff have friends with other teams, they call them and say, what did you think of these guys? And did you pick up anything? Last year, uh, seeing in the game, they, a lot of the, uh, the success that they had was picking up long, getting mm -hmm. long third downs, uh, conversions, and things like that. You guys are obviously far away. Well, that, that was that was bad last year. You know, we had plenty of opportunities early in the game offensively. You know, second play of the game, we miss a wide open Marquise Ricard. You know, we pick up a first down, get a penalty, stall. Next drive, we miss a fourth down. So we just don't didn't start fast offensively, and then um, we gave up. You know, scramble plays, third and extra long. We just, you know, and again, give them credit last year, but we gave them way too much, and uh, we just weren't weren't. I mean, we're obviously a different team now. I mean, we're better. Again, I can't speak to them, but uh, we're better than, than we've been in all areas, coaching, uh, developing our players, and then, uh, and then having talented guys who can make plays. Coach, you mentioned that uh, same coordinators, a lot of the same personnel from last year. They thrown any different wrinkles in that you've seen, no. you know, through review and really. No, they're the same. You know, it's just, you know, they uh, – they lost two defensive linemen and got their, their freshman kid that was a sophomore edge rusher got hurt. And, you know, they lost a lot of guys on the perimeter defensively. And, you know, where they returned guys is, you know, wide out. They lost one of their wide outs. But, they, you know, quarterback's back and the running backs are back. But they've played a lot of freshmen. You know, I think they've played either one, two, or three in terms of freshmen played this year. So that's where it's not a matter of talent. It's not a matter of scheme. It's just, you know... You're going to play your best football when you're a junior and senior. So that's what they're going through is trying to get consistency because it's hard to be consistent. You're a lot more choppy when you're playing young guys. And so um, we went through it, and they're going through it a little bit. But when they've got a, when you've got a senior quarterback and a veteran coaching staff, and, uh, you know, their back's kind of up against the wall. You know, I mean, when you talk about a team that's been to bowl games, and, you know, that this, this is a big one for them. And it's a big one for us. Is it a misconception that uh, the spread offense, you don't really you know, run it a whole lot, or are you uh, like an exception to the rule? Because I mean, I'm just I'm looking at the stats and that came out today, that you guys are the most improved run offense. Well, we said we want to improve running the ball, so we've done that. You know, there's some games we didn't run it as well we would have liked. You know, some of the Nebraska, we didn't run it really very well. And Mississippi State, not until the second half. But we've improved a lot. That's the credit to, you know, Chip and – our offensive staff and Luke and our offensive line, we had all those guys back and having Jalen healthy, who's had a really good year up to date. So, you know, there's a lot of things that add into that. We've added tight ends, which gives us so, you know, I wouldn't call us so much a spread anymore because we're, we're capable of lining up in, you know, 21 personnel and running the football and play action. So, you know, we knew that we needed to be able to run the ball better in order to be as efficient as we wanted to be offensively. And we've, we've done a pretty good job of that. Coach, I know one of your goals going into the bye week and throughout this week was to get some guys back that were a little dinged up, you know, just some nagging stuff. You feel pretty good about where you're at in that regard? Mm -hmm. They'll all be back. Mm -hmm. I'll be stunned if they're not because they all went today. So. Coach, that sounded like a pretty spirited ending to practice. Uh, was the energy kind of where you wanted to be coming off the bye to start the week? A lot more energy than that question that was asked there, Zane. They didn't have much didn't have much energy. The question was very monotone. I mean, when you show up, man, it's gotta be coach, man. It sounded awesome. That practice, man. Haven't been here in a while, but I hear it. You know, you're right, Zane. It, it did. Great. It had good there you go. There's the energy I'm looking for, Zane. Awesome. It was. It was good. I mean we 
we again I told our guys, I mean, embrace this. You know, it's it's part of it. That you want high expectations. You want to be somewhere where you're, you know, where you're winning and and the expectations are high and you you rise to that occasion. I mean, that's you know. Any job with low expectations you don't want, and any program you want, you don't want to be a part of one that's got low expectations. So uh, we've earned the high expectations. Let's embrace it. Let's go compete. Let's get excited about it. We're in the playoffs, man. I told him, I said, you gotta, you got to screw with your mind a little bit sometimes. you got to look at it and go, man, if we were in the NFL, we're, we're in the playoffs, man. We're like a wild card team because we win all three, we get to the Super Bowl. Because our, our number one goal here is to win our league. In the NFL is to win the Super Bowl. Ours is to win our league. Right now, we're... It's not, it's not realistic to think we're playing for a national championship. What is our number one goal? What's our Super Bowl? Winning the Conference USA Championship. We're in it. Awesome. You know, you got to play with it and just say, hey, how would it be if you were in the NFL playoffs and we were going to play the Steelers this week, man, on national TV? How would you prepare, man? How would you be fired up? Man, I, it's just like this, man. We're going on the road. We're going to play Rice in the playoffs. Let's go. It's awesome. It's on national TV. It's on American Sports Network. Awesome. We're on national TV. Did I fire you up, Zane? I'm ready to run through a wall. Exactly. I love it, Zane. Thank you guys for coming. <laughs>